In this palatial waterfront estate in the heart of paradise, a group of himbos are about to hunt for the daddy of their dreams. Welcome to For the Love of Dilfs. I'm Dr. Dilf, your favorite disembodied gay relationship expert. I'm back with another epic social experiment where the couple voted most likely to succeed will walk away with a $10,000 investment in their relationship. Last year, my plan to help a group of daddies and himbos find love was a huge success. So we're opening the doors to Dilf Mansion again. I am here for 100% genuine, true, authentic love. I need a swole mate. I like fast cars and pretty boys. I need a little spice, a little paprika needs to be added onto it. And girl, guess what she's here to do? Make it rain. Get ready for the messy drama, the random access shirtlessness, and hopefully, in the end, true love. Speaking of true love, I can't do this alone. That's why Stormy Daniels is back as host and my personal muse. She also approved all of my nudes. Take it away, Stormy. Now you're probably asking yourself, why are they having her host a gay reality show? Well, I will try anything twice. And I also happen to be very openly bisexual. Also, and most importantly, I'm truly running out of creative ways to f off the conservatives. Also, I really do want to help all these himbos and daddies find love. Because what's more genuine than love found on a reality show? This season, the daddies are daddying and the himbos are confused. So what do you say? Shall we get this started? Welcome to For the Love of Dilfs. Enough exposition. Let's meet the himbos. Hi, my name is Aaron Chaplin. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, but some of my friends also call me Gay Jesus. I'm actually a professional figure skater. I've traveled the world for about seven years now with multiple different companies skating every single day, and it's truly been a dream come true. I'm someone that really goes off of their spirit, their emotions, their vibe truthfully. I think for me, what I'm looking for in a daddy is someone that is secure in themselves and someone who isn't gonna be afraid to take action as well. Can't believe I'm here, holy crap. Aaron is dressed like a DL frat boy that loves oral but won't kiss after. Damn! Oh, look at me! I sized up. What's up, Nick? I sized up. What's up? I'm Nick Mask. I'm 20. I'm 30 years old. I'm from West Hollywood, California, and I'm a West Hollywood socialite. Don't worry. Nick makes up for being 30 with muscles and a chronic need for validation. For work, I am a model slash promoter slash MC. When it comes to a daddy, I'm looking for that fit fam. I need a swole mate, somebody who's gonna stand by my side and spot me when I need it. Do I expect sex here? If the cards fall right, and if I have the cards and I throw them in the right spots. Save a horse, ride a himbo. Hola, mi gente. Soy Rico. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I live in San Diego, 27 years old, and I'm your dirty mechanic. <laughs> I feel like a himbo is just someone who's like super sexy, confident, young, himbo with the brain. What do I like in my daddies? I love a hairy, big culo, you know what I mean? Nice, big, put your face in, you know what I mean? <laughs> we call that fine dining. Bon appetit. My name is Daniel and I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm just trying to find my daddy up in these streets because life is hard, but at the same time, Ugh, love is harder. Anyone else fantasizing about French braiding his hair? Don't kink shame me. What makes me a himbo is because I like to be pampered. I like when a daddy takes charge. Don't get me wrong, I like to take charge too. I want someone, but at the same time, I hope they want me too. And my double cheeseburgers. Like no What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Keith. I'm 25 years old from LA. I'm just ready to find my daddy in my dreams. I'm a model and dancer, and I'm also a surfer as well. What makes me a himbo is, first off, I'm sexy. This 
moves like waters. If that don't move, are you really a himbo? Come on. Who needs a piece of when you can have a case of Anybody who knows more than me, I always take that as an opportunity to learn, never get intimidated. So I need a daddy who can show me something new, teach me something that can be an asset to what I have going on already. I just want to give a twerk because, bitch, I have to since I'm in this house already. Okay, yes, twerk. Twerk. <laughs> She thick though. She thick though. Come on, like I, like I need. It. I'm gonna wait for alcohol. My thighs and my took my phone and it ended up in the ocean. Oh no. Oh, I see it. Your phone. Yeah, I Shut see up. It. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. My my took my phone and threw it in the lake. We put it at that. You know, like that's what happened. So my phone ended up in the lake. <laughs> Thank God, we've saved the nudes. Five minutes in, and we've already done a search and rescue mission. Pure himbo behavior. Now, here she is, the MILF to my DILF. The one, the only, Stormy Daniels. I hired the best drag queens in South Florida to do her makeup. And let me tell you, money well spent. Gorgeous. I think she is a powerhouse of a woman. She changed the world. She's got her hair as as big as her boobs. And I'm like, damn girl, where are you going later? Give Hi baby. Okay. Stormy Daniels is gonna turn me straight. Oh, Amazing. <laughs> you look so good. Thank you, so do you. Welcome to Dolph Mansion, Himbos. I hope her husband or her boo don't mind, but I was looking at her cupcake too, like, I'm okay. But at the end of the day, I'm gay, so, you know. I just met the daddies, and they are hot. Oh! Ooh. How hot. I, I had to change my panties already. Oh. <laughs> I know which one I would take. <laughs> but you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer to actually see them. Good news is, you can sniff them, <laughs> taste them, and listen to them. Daddy. If you just smell good, that is what's gonna make these draws with it. Don't worry, you don't have to just settle for who you pick because tonight we're gonna have a group mixer. And if you see something you like better, you can have your opportunity to make that move. Mm. You guys were all given some blindfolds when you walked in, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and blindfold yourselves. Oh, God. This is reminding me of the other night. Oh, Daddy! Hi, my name is Sal. I am from New York, and I like fast cars and pretty boys. Or is it pretty cars and fast boys? Whichever. His name is Big Sal, but not because of his height. I spent 35 years working on Wall Street, and I had a long and successful career, and now I'm currently retired. I feel like a daddy is somebody you can depend on, mature emotionally, mature physically, the ability to make good choices because they've already made all their bad choices. And I've made plenty. Hello, I'm Jimmy. I'm your ginger daddy from Chicago, and I have been called a daddy since I was 25. Because of his deeply repressed childhood. I work for a fintech company, and I do forecasting, planning, and analysis for them. I can see in someone who is younger an old soul. I've always been an old soul. And knowing that kind of maturity exists and seeing it, it, it is an immediate draw for me. My name is Nigel Battle, I'm from New Jersey, and I am here for 100% genuine, true, authentic love. I am a surgical medical assistant, and I also do content creation, YouTube, and coach YouTube on the side. Physically in the himbo, I'm definitely looking for somebody with a little bit more cushion, something to grab, slap, squeeze, all that juicy stuff is what I'm looking for, for sure. When I'm in a relationship or when I'm truly caring for somebody, I really like to care for them, be there for them, comfort them in so many ways, almost like a daddy does. Hi, America. My name is Luders. I'm 42 years old, and I am your sexy Haitian daddy. I think in order to be a daddy, you have to be somebody who's responsible, mature, experienced, but I'm also looking for fun. I've never been in a relationship. So this is my moment to shine 
I love a sexy himbo. I love a confident himbo. I feed off of that. Hey, my name is Kane. I am from Australia. I am a yoga instructor. I'm known as Daddy K in the house. <laughs> Another Aussie. Can't wait to get him down to his budgie smugglers. What makes me a daddy? Is it an age thing? Is it a feeling thing? It's just a thing, really. I just, that's who I am now. I like to believe it's an accumulated wealth thing. Cha-ching. A lot of people my age are really settled. I'm really nomadic and I like to have a lot of freedom in my life. And I find that younger himbos also have that freedom and that's what attracts me to them. Oh my goodness, it's like a daddy buffet, or a, a sample platter. <laughs> and I am so here for it. The order of go was randomly chosen. You are allowed to approach your daddies, and daddies, you are allowed to say only one thing. You're allowed to say, I am your daddy, in your best, sexiest voice. It was definitely a power flip for me, and I was like, oh I hope they can't smell how old I am. So, Aaron, we're gonna start with you. I was really not expected to be blindfolded this early in the house, but why not? Let's go for it. Hi, I'm Aaron. Hugs. <laughs> oh, good daddy. Get a good sniff. Hmm, okay. I hugged every single one because I wanted to actually feel their energy onto mine. I'm your daddy. Scent is a huge thing. You want to have someone that's clean and doesn't smell bad because that's a major thing. So, would you like number one? Two, three, four, or five. I'ma just go with what I started with, so I'll go with number one. I was super excited because I, you know, I didn't want to be the last kid picked for kickball, but I did have my eye on somebody and I got picked first. So the other guy who I was interested in never got a chance to to sniff me and feel me, which I thought would have been hot. Whoa, okay. Oh yeah. That's a thing. That's some caveman style. I was gonna I'll go be blindly your little I'm just kind of excited to get a good whiff of these boys. Mm. Uh, yeah. I am your daddy. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, she's hairy. I'm your daddy. I walk up to the daddies, and I automatically felt like Goldilocks. I was like, um, this one's too big. This one's too small. Hey, I'm your daddy. Oh, you smell nice. Oh, I'm going to go with this one. All right, All right, that was gonna, easy. I, I like smells. I like a little man stank, you know, a little after the gym, like little menage a trois, if you will. Nick is beautiful. Like, he is, I'm batting way above my average. Definitely, I sense different energies, but as long as you got that and you know, body's cool, like, got some hair on there. I'm looking for it, I'm loving it, you know? Ay, <laughs> santo. Mm. daddy. Ay, santo. Querito. Baba, you feel me? Them, that ass right there is like, I was like, okay, I like that. I'm liking the hair, I'm liking the beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was obvious. That made me feel absolutely adored. I went in feeling nervous that maybe I would just get passed on for being a little bit thicker and furry, and it turns out that that's the exact reason why he grabbed a little more. <laughs> Come with me. Okay. I literally smelled, and I was like, oh my god, he smells so good. My eyes was wide closed. I don't know what wide closed means, but I think his legs are about to be wide open. I see you got pegs. That lets me know you got other things too. That's feelable. I was like, okay, I think I will work with him. I'm hoping the camera is not pointing in a certain direction because one touch, it all rise. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we're down to our last two. So apparently the fates have chosen. Come meet your daddy. Daddy, where are you? <laughs> Take a moment. I don't want to cheat you out of your groping. We both knew it was default, and so it wasn't about anything other than, well, we're going to get to know each other. Let me see how big your feet are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> oh man, you got to get size split. Uh -huh. You do, you do. The fact that I was the last one to choose, it honestly was like it was fate and it was meant to happen. So, are you guys ready to see who you have matched with? Yeah. All right, yeah. we're gonna start with you. 
Damn. Hi, Daddy. No. <laughs> you know what? I was a little shocked. Not the typical guy that I go for, but he just seen a black king in front of him and he said, oh yeah. I hope opposites attract because Jimmy is whiter than sitting on the bed in street clothes. See y'all later. You're up next. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I didn't think he was going to be that short, but you know what? I think I'm going to like him a lot. Oh, hey, man. How's it hey, going? Man, how are you? Nice to see you. Very attractive guy. Older than I usually go for, but he just has this swagger. He's cool. He's got this little sexy tone to him. I think he was happy. I mean, he's 6'4", so he looked down at me. I'm barely 5'9". Aaron loves to travel, so he needs a daddy that fits in the overhead bin. Next up. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. What the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> when I saw him, it was just like a breath of fresh air to know that like, there was someone here that I was like, I, I'm going to be attracted to. Uh, we're good. Good to meet you. Yeah, we're good. What's your name? <laughs> Nigel. Nigel. Yeah. Nice What's to meet you. Stuff, I love that you tried to take him away before he even got the name. We're done. We're done. The show's over. Thank you. Your name is mine. <sighs> Pure happiness. The look in his eyes just meant so much to me. He just felt grateful. Like, I could tell that he was happy that he had chose me, and that just made me feel so good. I got you. Oh, you got me. Got Thank you, you boo. <laughs> okay, oh, look at you. Oh, cute. You Ooh. are cute. Oh. 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 Me. <laughs> yes, this is what I've been waiting for, oh, baby. I get one of the sexiest guys. Bye, yes. Stormy. Bye, Stormy. Thank you. Oh, thank yeah. you. I just love matchmaking. I'm gonna need those blindfolds for my orgy later. Dr. Dilf will be mad. Boys! Hey! I'm gonna need those blindfolds! Now our blind dates will get some one-on-one -on -one time together in the yard to feel each other out after they've felt each other up. So meeting my daddy. And last pick. Last pick, yeah. right. It was meant to be, right? It was. It was. He's not my typical guy that I go for, but very clean cut. He looks like that he takes care of himself. So Jimmy, right? Yeah, it's Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. Well, I'm, yep, that's me, I'm Keith. Nice to me. How old are you? I am 46. Oh, really? Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed 46. Well, I appreciate that. And you know, that the way I do that is generally by staying out of the sun. So important question, how often do you do your laundry? That question had many layers in it. It was about how they smell. It was about how much money they spend on clothes. It was about how they take care of themselves. I do, I do my laundry. I probably, I do it like. Honestly, don't lie. <laughs> I'm this like, important. Think like mm. I feel like a lie is coming. Probably like every like two weeks, not gonna okay, lie. Okay, that's reasonable. Two weeks is perfectly perfect. Do you pay rent or do you pay mortgage? I pay mortgage. Oh, nice. Even though he looks like he works at the post office, he has this edge to him and this personality that I can definitely dig with. So, um, what do you think about spending some more time tonight at the mixer? No, I don't want to. Oh, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Were you? No interest <laughs> whatsoever. God, yes. God, yes, yes. Mm. Our lips are two different sizes, but it still felt really good. And he's a really good kisser. That's why you cannot judge a book by its cover because you just don't know what that book may feel like or taste like. Okay, who's gonna tell him what a book is? So tell me a bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? I'm from New York. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And what do you do? I'm retired. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Retired Wall Street executive. Oh, awesome. So yeah. how's that life? How's everything with that? Like, enjoying Excellent. it? Loving it? Yeah. Love okay. It. You have a great life. Yeah. So let's get in the pool. Yeah, it's hot. It's I know. Shit. So I think getting in the pool is a great idea. <laughs> Take these off. That's for sure. Oh, see, you're almost, a, you're actually a little taller yeah, than me now. This, this works. down here. He's used to that. He's he's taller than most people. I dated a guy who was six seven for a little while. It was part of the reason that we couldn't make it work. He was very interested in me. He was a younger guy, but I'm a little bit dominant in the bedroom, and I couldn't throw him around like I like. Nor could I pick him up. I like to do that too. What's like the last live music situation that you've been to? Probably can't tell, but I was deadhead. In the oh really? Yeah. <laughs> late seventies. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Mine's uh, very different, but some Spice Girls. 
also really realized I was gay there when they were doing the whole like naked scene behind this and everyone's freaking out and I'm just like, can we get to the next song? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just seemed really interesting. Like seems very confident, knew who he was, has experienced life just right off the bat there. So I was excited. So you think you want to hang out some more? Yeah, I All think right, I'm cool. down to do that. Yeah, me too. I'd like to get to know you better. That would be really fun, actually. All right. All right. Let's do this, baby. Yeah. The kiss for me was a little unexpected. It was unexpected for everyone watching the date. It was good. It was nice. It felt, it felt great. He's a good kisser. And that's where we're at. 6'4", maybe I could handle. I don't know. We'll see. Was that weird, having us all lined up like that? So it was definitely a different experience for me, but I like what I felt, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> With the drinks and getting into pool, I was hoping that as soon as we got in, we could just go at it. I know that sounds crazy, but I just immediately felt a connection. And I love like aquatic romance. So the minute I got into the water, I was just ready to be grabbed. Let's, I was ready to go for it. <laughs> How was it for you? like? It was scary, yeah. The whole experience, you know what I mean? Just coming out here, I'm like, is something real gonna happen? Is it not? That part, you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly, like, it could yeah. go either way. Definitely, and that's the part that kind of like scares me, especially like being on the show, like, you could find like a lot of people not coming out here for the right things. Really, I came on the show to see like where everyone's heart is and where I can like put my heart, you know? So going on this first date really kind of like opened up that layer that I was looking for. It's funny you say that, cause like that's so huge to me, like liking someone back. And it's probably like my favorite part of the day was like lifting up your blindfold and you just seemed like so appreciative. <laughs> and I was like, wait, <laughs> like I do not appreciate a bear like you, what you mean? My number one reason for being here is to find a real genuine true connection. And the fact that the person that I believe I found that with is looking for the same thing. I honestly, I just couldn't be happier. What about your occupation? Medical assistant, specialized in dermatology. Okay. Um, but I also do lots of content creation, love to create on YouTube. That does connect a little bit with like being a himbo. And I'm not the type to judge anyone's career, but you're a daddy and you're doing like YouTube stuff. All I can say is we got to give him time to find out whether he's a himbo or a daddy. So are you a super like vanilla guy or do you have any like fun kinks that uh, you like to explore? So I'm not vanilla, <laughs> not at all. Uh, you need to be able to spit in my mouth and I need to be able to spit in your mouth. It's important to stay hydrated. When Rico told me that's what he was into, it immediately made me excited. I knew that he was adventurous. I knew that he was fun. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? And I didn't even need to know any other kinks he was into because that one leads to a whole bunch of other ones that I'm sure are connected to that and I'll find out later. It's Daniel. Looters. There you got. I'm, I'm 32, by the way. And how old are you? 42. What? <laughs> Honey, oh. black don't crack. <sighs> but honestly, you're really, really cute. Right. Like, What's so I'm cute like, about me? I'm tall, you're short, mm -hmm. which is what I like. Um, and I saw your pretty teeth. Uh? But I do have a question for you. Um, Damn it. You have such pretty teeth. I have this thing when I look at people and I look at their teeth, the kissing is what I want to do. Oh. I want to do it so bad. So, you know, I want to make sure that oh. my lips and your lips match. And right now it's it's matching for me. So oh. that's that's oh. that's all I'm going to say right now. It matches. You want to give me a kiss? Of course I want to give you a kiss. Go ahead. Nine out of 10 dentists recommend Luders for that extra daddy freshness. It was stupendous, exciting. The Kunta got hot. Oh, okay. Can I get another kiss? Of course you can. Oh, that's my baby. Mm. I like when a man takes charge because it's like, oh, whereas I'm, oh, and I like that. Well, I need something to seal the deal. Oh, okay. Can I get another kiss? Of course you can. Oh, that's my baby. Mm. Looks like this batch of himbos and daddies came into the mansion ready to make out. But not every frog you kiss will turn into a prince. Let's see how our final couple puckers up. Oh, well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> how you feeling? I'm good. I feel good. I feel like yeah. I picked right, I'll tell you that. I was so nervous because I was like, 
Is he gonna expect to make out? Is he gonna expect to like me to like have some great thing that I've accomplished? Have um, you traveled much? Yeah, you know what? I do travel. I um, work as an MC and a party host. So oh, you're sweet. I'm a, and also a promoter. So okay. I like travel around the world. That whole lifestyle is probably not where I'm at, but he has the freedom to travel, which is really attractive to me. And that was the first thing that we spoke about. So that was really exciting for me. Have you been to Australia? Well, I have not yet. I really want to go. I love the accent. I, th I always tell people, I was like, if you're like, say a four, you get three points for an accent. You always get, you get three so points added. Four. No, 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 oh my God, no, no, my God. Yeah. Definitely one of, I think the most attractive dad. Oh, here. that's cute. I love a man who works out and he's the most fit in my honesty. It makes you feel good, of course. But, you know, I, yeah, yeah, look, hey, he can say that anytime. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah, we're gonna cheers. Make time for me. Make time for me. Make, time, make for me. time for you. Make it. <laughs> See you tonight. You know, he's just a down to earth guy that just wants to get to know me better. Let's go into Dilf Mansion, where the daddies and himbos are settling into their communal bedrooms. We call it Dilf Mansion because the house is just like a daddy. It's beautiful, protects the cast, and is comfortable having multiple guys inside him at once. Speaking of which, we're throwing a pajama party tonight for our new cast, but something tells me there won't be much sleeping. Let's check in with the daddies. Oh boy. Oh boy, what a day! How Can you are believe you guys it? feeling about these boys? We're gonna talk about the elephant in the room because. <laughs> Making out in the elevator. <laughs> I was gonna say, you brought the date back in here. Wait a minute. Like... When we walked in, he said, oh, should we take the elevator? And I said, yes, yes, we should take the elevator. And then we started making out. It was awesome. It was so much fun. We just instantly kind of fell into each other. So it was very nice. You are safe, so we we not well, worried about well, that. Well, wait, but first of all, I'm gonna just rename myself from Big Sal to Himbo's first choice, okay? Oh, wow. Yeah, so if nothing else happens, I got picked for my good energy, and I'm like, I'm good with that. You know, my age, like, you know, I could be a bitter, jaded old queen, and I'm, I'm not, like. Let us all know how old are you? I'm 60. I've had great love in my life. I was back to back 21 years from 18 all the way, yeah, like, I have five year, three year, and then my 13 year relationship. Damn. Hmm. So, <clears throat> I've taken the last 10 years, you know, 50 to 60, it's like prime years, and I've just been purposely not getting connected to anybody or try, trying to stay away from any kind of feelings. And uh, you know what? I think maybe there is an opportunity I could love somebody again. It made me emotional because even though I'm fighting it, I feel like I could spend some time with somebody and maybe enjoy a few years. The thing I miss the most is having a fan. What does that mean? You know, like when someone thinks you're really cool. Oh, you definitely need a hug. <laughs> oh my God. Clearly, these daddies develop true emotional depth through introspection and growth. Now, let's check in on some guys who've done the opposite, the himbos. How did everyone's date really go? Like, what do we really think of the daddies that we that we got right now? How did yours go? Like, you seem like y'all are just clicking. Yes, I think y'all off to the corner. Yeah, I see you by you yourselves. Know. I mean, the date was really good. Like, I liked his vibe. We meshed well, but let me sit up for this. Sit up, bitch. See, I want you to see. Let me cross my, let me cross my legs. Now wow. with this guy, when we just went to, you know, mingle, we're gonna get ready to, you know, be in our pajamas. Homeboy gave me his pajamas to wear. Now I brought my oh. own. Here's what happened earlier after the blind date. What's going on? Not in. Um. So how did you think the date went? It went great. I really enjoyed you, so um, I just wanted us to match. 
I'm wearing silk and I thought maybe you could wear some silk, you know, kind of get that vibe going. I'm going to stand out from the daddies and give my himbo a little present, you know, a little appreciation for, you know, kind of, you know, allowing me to have a date with him. I mean, I like that. However, I did bring my own pajamas. No, I understand. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, I'm feeling you and... Um, I did bring, you know, my stuff. But... No, I understand. Okay. And if you choose, you want to wear it, I would be, you know, be appreciative of that. They just gave me that. Oh, really? Crazy that you say that, because, like, I was thinking, like, the exact opposite of my daddy is, is, like, I really felt a mellow vibe with him and everything like that, and he's great, and he, everything's about him is great, but I felt like he wasn't aggressive enough. Honestly, I think your daddy's the only one that I'm kind of interested in because, like, I just, because he's from Australia. Dude, no. My sister was born there, and my parents lived there before. My eyes just glazed the f over. I'm like, dude. Wait, I got really good advice, though. About my daddy, like, stay away because yeah. he is mine. I know we have a mixer later tonight. So I know. I'm pretty good with mine. I'm just I, you're pretty good, but you could be great. And my daddy's great. That's cool. Nick's feelings regarding the situation are very questionable to me because in all honesty, I think that he's here to get the West Hollywood gay thing, to get that. That's what he's here for. And they have a connection, that's great. But anyone can put on a friggin' face for the camera and I just don't believe it. Would you say Nick's here to play the game? I'd say 100% oh, Nick is here to play the game. Everybody's fair game. That's all I'm gonna say, you know what I mean? Well, I think that we, we're getting ready to party it up tonight. Wow. I'm ready. We're gonna have a mixer tonight. We're gonna get lit. We're gonna turn I'm ready. I'm ready to tonight. twerk. I'm ready to... Twerk. I'm ready to... Blah, 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 I'm gonna twerk too. Now I'm gonna turn it up. Twerking is how himbos establish social dominance. Isn't nature fascinating? Tonight, the daddies and himbos are going to get intimate with their intimates for a sexy sleepover. But of course, we have some surprises in store for them. And before you could ask, yes, I did pick Stormy's outfit. Good evening, boys. Hello, mama. I just had to take the stairs because I almost slipped and fell in the elevator. Oh. Who's responsible? Oh. Uh-oh. Mom's mad. So tonight is very important because this is a competition and we have an elimination coming up soon. I want you to get to know everyone. No one is off limits. Talk to everybody. Sample the buffet, if you will. So what's a good party without a couple of party crashers, oh, huh? Oh, 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 boo. Come on, you know I couldn't let you guys get away from these I gotta no. make it hard for you, Daddy. My name's Anthony. I actually work at a high-end upscale lounge in Manhattan. So I was in the Navy for four years. That actually gave me the foundation I needed to have these conversations with these other himbos and daddies in the house. Boy got me crazy. I'm hoping to leave Dilf Mansion with someone that I connect with on a level that we can build something outside of this. Crazy. Die Andy is hot as <laughs> and every single person can agree with me with that. Like you look at this guy and you're like, holy. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit. Uh, my name is Anthony. I'm from New York. I do have a daughter and I'm 40. Okay. Your actual daddy. <laughs> you don't look 40. No. Goddamn. Right. What's your secret? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It was very nervous. I'm walking into these other daddies and himbos that they've already possibly connected, and here I am, you know, trying to like slide in, possibly take one of their dates, and it was, it was a lot. And I have one more treat for you guys, and this one is a big one. Himbo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Derek. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, but I've been living in Florida for quite some time now. 
And yes, I'm Daniel's twin, just by one minute. I'm the youngest, but <laughs> the cutest. <laughs> I'm kidding, let me stop. What I look for in a daddy is someone respectable, obviously. Someone honest, genuine, pure hearts, because I'm a pure heart too. I wanted to try something new. This was a different experience, and who knows, my man might be here. Identical twins, a real dad. If someone throws a glass of wine at this episode, I win reality TV bingo. So who are you and why do you look strangely familiar? I am Derek. And I'm Daniel. And we are the Heart Twins. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say heart or hard? Heart. <laughs> but hard is nice too. I mean, I don't mind a little hard. So when Anthony and Derek arrived tonight, they got to choose one person to have a one-on-one -on -one with. Who did you choose? If you say your brother, I'm out. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I'm from Louisiana, but no. Girl, no, I didn't choose my twin. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I chose Kane. Hey. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I chose Derek. Ooh, okay. I didn't see that coming. I that didn't. means you get to have both. Oh. It's a threesome. <laughs> so let's get this party started. Spend some time getting to know each other, make it count, and I'll be back later to tuck you boys in. I have to go clean up an elevator. Cheers. Right. Thank Double you. Surprise. Yes. I think Cheers. Any of us were expecting that. I did get chosen by the new intruder, who then got chosen by the other intruder, and we ended up on a threesome on a couch, which are always kind of awkward unless all the parties are into it. I'm just trying to see the options that is right in front of me. <laughs> so, what do you think about the options so far? They're beautiful. Oh very nice, yes. <laughs> Let me take a sip on that. <laughs> it was Anthony that did it for me. When I saw him, I was like, oh, sorry, Kane, but um, how are you? <laughs> so, Anthony, what do you do? A general manager for a lounge in okay. Times Square. Okay, yeah, you yeah. fancy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. He's so sex and it's like, oh, why you have to, um? Because they're going to be stuck on all these things. Like, they are. Yes, they did. <laughs> Anthony, what, what would you be open about sharing about your daughter? She's amazing. Um, she's actually the reason why I'm here. I bet Kane is thrilled he got pulled away from Nick to help the new daddy with character development. Since we are here right now, let me know who you're feeling right now. I mean, this is an awkward kind of a three-way date. They're usually awkward, aren't they? Yeah. yeah they <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't do threesomes, but there's something about Anthony that yeah. is intriguing. And when I saw that body and the <laughs> hair, I was like, okay, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> the chest was chest in. <laughs> you like him, don't you? I do. I have to be honest. Is he pretty? He is pretty. I've just seen him and he's, uh, oh, he's even beautiful. He has a daughter. I don't mind playing stepmommy. It felt good, you know? It was coming from a place of, yes, he was nervous, as was I. But I think as we started to, you know, open up a little bit more in that brief time, that it felt good and it felt right. So when he did choose him, I was, I was so cool and, and happy to go back to Nick. So you got picked. <laughs> I did get pissed. How's that feel? Uh, he's sweet. I'm glad that I'm here. Oh, I'm glad I'm here too. They feel so lucky. Oh, I'm the lucky one. Hey, boys. How's it going? Hey. Good. Mind if I sit in between you guys? I mean, yeah, yeah, but no. So I'm just sitting there having a conversation with my daddy. Yes, emphasis on my daddy. You can scoot over. I, it's I okay. Mean, I'll, move, I'll, I'll be over. so nice. I'll even move the pillow for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. And then Aaron's like, hey, can you just like scooch over there? I don't even think that's how he sounds. I'll only give them the justice of that. You got it, you got it. No, you said you can move the pillow. No, okay, okay, right, two, you. you want two? There you go, you can still oh, move. Oh, there's one more, one more, oops. I ain't no servant to no one, so. Well, you just, I just, you asked, so I, I let you do. Thank you, how's it going, hey, guys? What the actual f dude? I thought we were homies, but you know what? This is a competition. I remember this, and just remember that next time we're under elimination, dude. What sign are you? Libra. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a Capricorn, but it doesn't really make sense. I have a Libra moon. All right. Yeah, yeah and a Leo Saturday. rising. We definitely should do that reading and look at the chart. It would be awesome. The full moon's just been in Capricorn, so night. yeah, exactly. I've been. It's been. All, that's why I'm all crazy right now. But. <laughs> Was 
How's everyone feeling about the first elimination? I'm feeling pretty confident. I mean, because my daddy is right here and I, we <laughs> I in, are enjoying each other's company. Baby, you didn't see last season, huh? Uh, I can a little bit. <laughs> you didn't see last season. <laughs> there are gorgeous people out here. There are amazingly sweet, funny, gorgeous, nice people who I really like. But right now, Keese is the one that I'm sticking with. Are you guys open to the idea of giving each other the room to explore <laughs> other opportunities? The, there is something that I did want to bring up that I've been having a couple red flags on. So, I mean, I just noticed like when we were talking, you know, you have your social media influence, yeah. things going on. I just want to make sure that you came here for the real thing, you know? Oh, 100%. Yeah, that kind of takes a backseat when it comes to all this. Mm. I'm looking for connection, I'm looking for loyalty, I'm looking for someone to share everything that I work so hard for. Mm. I know we haven't spent that much time together, but I would hope that in that small amount of time, he would realize that that was real. I'm 100% here for this guy and nothing else. Two separate, completely things. Like, mm. you're what I'm worried about right now. So, <laughs> here he is. <laughs> I do feel like he answered wholeheartedly. He's here for the right reasons. I think he was scared that he wouldn't find someone that was here for him for the right reasons, but he did. <laughs> so, I see we're in pajamas. Oh, this should be good. And as you can see, I'm not wearing the pajamas you gave me. At the end of the day, I just wanted my voice to be heard and him to understand me. I hope, you know, that don't make you feel no type of way. No, actually, I think that's... That lets me know that you don't let nobody control you, you don't let nobody make you do what you don't want to do. But what I would like to know, will you put it on for me at some point? Um, about that. You're pushing it at this point. Yeah, I'm not asking you to, I'm just saying, if this go further, would you wear it? And if no. I don't? No, I wouldn't be mad. No, I wouldn't be mad at all. I understood his feelings, and I am here to make it better. I do like you. I do want to get to know you, but I do want to set the record straight. Like, don't take me for no fool. Don't control me. I've been there, done that. I don't want to do that again. And I just want to see where this goes. Because you see how I am. I'm yeah, chilled. Right, soft-spoken. But I can definitely turn up, although I don't like to, but if I need to, <laughs> I will. Now, Stormy has a dirty game of spin the bottle planned for the boys, but this isn't about kissing. Well, I know I said I was going to come back and tuck you guys in, but instead, I'm going to make things a little dirtier. Who wants to spin? Spin, 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 two guys. Come on, him, bro. I have a question for you. Ask me, baby. If you had your choice of who goes home tonight, who would it be? Was not expecting that question at all. I was expecting to maybe take off a piece of clothing and maybe shake my like I normally do, but she asked me who do I think should go home. I would have to choose Luter. What I've heard, the whole possessive and controlling thing. It's like a trigger for me. I've been through that and it's just a super like red flag for me. So just based off of that, like you would be my choice to go home. Wow, all he saw was that little argument that me and Daniel have. So do you wanna know what I'm gonna do about this? This is it. I was like, I'm not even having my moment to even redeem myself. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my god. Oh my god. So my first day at Dilf Mansion, gotta say, has this been a success. I got the hottest Dilf, made the best friends, and we got to drink. I hope our daddies and himbos get some rest. They'll need it for our first elimination next week. Dr. Dilf, I have been calling you for hours. Oh, it's more important than me? Well, I didn't know there was no elimination tonight, but things are getting serious. There's some sticky action in the elevator. Oh yeah? I know you like sticky. Okay, I'll report back later. Send nudes. So close. This season
season on For the Love of Dilfs. Daddy, you can hit me harder. <laughs> Come here. His <laughs> tastes really good. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Daniel's Spelling Bee. Oh my God. Yes! I'm going to give it my all to try to win. Y'all look really cute together. I saw that little action and I was like, girl, he's grabbing them cheeks. Oh, daddy. This is about to get hella messy. Like, what the f Showing loyalty is an important thing. Don't play it safe. This is what we're here to do. I am tired of all the judgments. I'm tired of basing my decisions off other people's reactions. It eats me up because I don't want you to think of me in any kind of different way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with this, you know? I'm not. I'm definitely here for love. It just seems like you love every part of me. We're worthy of love. We are beautiful. And we're enough. How is it possible that so many of you got randomly selected with blindfolds on from strangers? Bam, we're, we're getting married. Welcome to Delph Mansion. What the f is going on? The strong point of your reasonings are not for love. I'm not a daddy hopper like some people. The nerf of this new bitch, she really came in stealing my man and want to steal my twin. All of us are here for one reason, or at least I thought we were. She's mad as hell, bro. Like, she's done. Domi has left Delph Mansion. She's pissed. Game's on now, I guess. I'm nervous, y'all. Like, really nervous, so pray for a bitch.